Welcome to Happy Place Aquatics, guys. Look at it. Finally got it out. It's eaten. Look at its side. It's all healed up. Looking great. Looking great. Guys, we're in the fish room. It's Friday night. Got a little bit of tank thing that's going on. A little bit of everything going on. As you see, these guys are all good. These guys are all good. Feeding time, obviously. 55 gallon guppy tank has more guppies in it than I think one tank should have. But I have a plan. Planning tank is doing good. I gotta fix that sponge filter again. Gotta fix that sponge filter. Goldfish pond doing amazing as usual. You know, guys, I got that FX6 on this thing. I mean, this pond is crystal clear. What you're seeing floating around is flake food. Today is flake food day for the goldfish. I made sure they eat flakes and pellets. I mix it up. So, we do that. Down here we got my subrooms. We never see them because I never show them. They're not getting big enough. I think we're going to move them. I think it's going to be what happens. Come on this side of the room. You guys are doing great. These guys are doing great, guys. Look at this. Look at my babies. Tank's a little cloudy, a little hazy. I just did a water change on it and gravel vacked it as best as I could without sucking any of the fish up. I have a whole bunch of electric blue Acara in there. That's not the fun part. Convicts are, I'm down to two convicts, guys. Two convicts and the other ones are red Honduras cichlids. All of these guys are still doing great. It's an amazing thing. Guys, 125. I changed a few things of how I do things in the fish room. Um, revamped how I'm fish keeping. I'm trying something, and so far, knock on wood, it's working. It is working. These guys, as you see, the stuff floating in it is flake food. There is some pellet in there, as you can see that parrot back there going ham. Did have an issue in here. I had a power struggle with parrotfish the other day. Came down there, and this guy right here and my other parrot were face locked together, and they would not leave each other alone. I don't necessarily know if they're breeding or not. Don't really care. I'm not having it. I've already lost one. I'm not losing another one. And as you can see, this tank is doing stupendous. That guy injured himself. If you look on his head right there by his eye, he got mad and bashed his face against something. It's not a hole in the head. The water quality is fine. But he bashed his head. It's actually a lot smaller than it was the day before yesterday. As you can see, the grumpy mascot is still doing great. Still working on this tank. Don't have time yet. Now, this video, this is where things get interesting. So, we're gonna turn some lights off. And we have this tank right here. Guys, if you look closely in this tank, you see more baby electric blue Acara. Now, there's another surprise. You guys ain't ready for this. These are only a couple days old. Actually, maybe a week old. Look on the rock. Those are all baby eggs. See if I can get you a better view. Those are all eggs on top of this rock. I am going to have more electric blue Acara than I know what to do with. Which isn't a bad thing because I love electric blue Acara. But that's what we got. This is my breeding pair. Right there. And guys, right now they are mad at me. Like severely mad because I took their babies. So, I figure I'd give you guys a quick update. Um, I will be doing a live stream Sunday. Gonna be open topic as usual. Um, and then Wednesday, 
I get to go enjoy myself. I get to go to an all-inclusive resort. I get to go to Mexico. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've had a rough year last year. Um, took on more responsibilities at work. Took on more fish. Took on a bigger fish room. Guys, I have, uh, I have doubled the amount of tanks I have. I have doubled the amount of fish that I keep. And it's only going to go up from there. Before you know it, this basement will be stupidly packed with fish tanks. But for now, that is going to end this video. And as always, it's your hobby. Do it your way. What should we go out on? We typically go out on a fish. Let's go out on my beautiful car because it's mad. Thank you for watching.